else. All right, uh, so uh, I have thought for the day. First of all, I want to uh, thank Toby for reminding me 94 times that I have thought for the day. It's good to be grateful. Life is too short not to be grateful. You know, uh, this uh, weekend, I, I, I do this retreat every year for my classmates. Uh, from Loyola High, class of 72, we're all geezers, um, men who, uh, you know, who are in their like 70, and uh, and so, you know, we have this retreat every um, year and for a weekend, and, uh, you know, so you're kind of feeling your mortality, everybody's kind of getting up there, a couple of them have died already, and uh, a handful of uh, wives who have died, and others have been married for 40, 45 years. And uh, on the retreat, one guy uh, said, you know, I need to listen to my wife more. And then another guy says, you know, I need to listen to my wife more. And then a guy named Sean says, so that reminds me of a joke. You know, a guy was driving up this mountain road, and a woman was driving down the mountain road, and when they meet each other, she yells from her window, pig! <laughs> and he yells, bitch! <laughs> And he keeps driving, and he turns a corner, and there's a big pig in the middle of the road. And he hits the pig, he crashes, and he dies. And then Sean goes, the moral of the story is, listen to women more. Why did I think that would get applause? So that's good advice. So um, lately I've been listening to this uh, podcast called Turning to the Mystics, and there are a lot of women mystics, um, you know, Teresa of Avila and Julian of Norwich, and there's a woman, um, Mechthild of Magdeburg of Germany. She died 700 years ago. I have been listening to her every day, and she's not her personally, but um, but somebody talking about her. And, and she has this thing where she says, God just wants to rest weightlessly in your soul. And I like it. it. It's kind of rest. It's weightless. There's no burden to it. In your soul, it's close and near. It reminds me of a homie who told me recently, he says, you know, all my life people said, let God into your heart. And he said, but then I realized God wants me to live in God's heart. And I've been living there ever since. That's good advice. But life's too short uh, not to allow that to happen. Speaking of life uh, being too short, I, I read an obituary in the LA Times a couple months ago, and uh, and it had a picture of the guy who had died, 42 years old, uh, color picture, he had red hair, and uh, and the obituary began like this. His name was Matthew Slay. Matthew Slay passed away last week following a brief and courageous bottle battle with an oversized piece of steak. So apparently, he choked to death. And, uh, and people thought it was a joke, they thought it was a prank. And so they, um, you know, people wrote letters to the LA Times and, uh, but the obituary was written by uh, his brother. It was very affectionate, very warm, and very funny, and you got a sense of the guy. And at the end of all obituaries, it'll say, in lieu of flowers, instead of sending flowers, you know, give a donation to Homeboy, or sometimes they say that. But this one said, in lieu of flowers, please cut your food into bite-sized pieces and chew it thoroughly. And I thought, life's too short not to chew it thoroughly. <laughs> to be grateful to Toby for reminding me that I had thought for the day. To listen to women more. To uh, know that God just wants to answer that call right now. <laughs> because he's being called into brain surgery. <laughs> And that life is too short <laughs> not to let um, God rest weightlessly in your soul. So chew thoroughly. <laughs>